As Rachel Notley and Jason Kenney duke it out as the front runners in this year's provincial election, smaller political parties are fighting to gain ground and have their voices heard. We are the only party that's ever been assembled in history that has the legal path to separation. Dave Bjorkman is the leader of the Alberta Independence Party, and he's been putting in late nights and early mornings trying to get his campaign message out. As you could guess by the name, the Alberta Independence Party wants to separate from Canada. We were abused financially, we were abused politically. Our representation in Senate, we are worth half the average Canadian. Look at the numbers of Senate, look how much Alberta has, we are worth half a Canadian. Bjorkman explains the party would hold a referendum on separation if they were elected, and if that succeeded, he says equalization payments to Ottawa would end. If we ended our ties to Ottawa, we would double the wealth of Alberta. You'd see what would happen at a deficit. Constitutional and legal challenges aside, Alberta is a landlocked province, so how would separation even work? Bjorkman says he's already thought about that. He explains Alberta would have to join the UN Convention on Transit Trade of Landlocked States. We need to attach to the UN. We need to separate now in this election because the next window to join the UN is 2021. Recently, UCP leader Jason Kenney said he would hold a referendum on equalization payments if there's no headway made on pipelines. Bjorkman says that won't work and the only viable option is for Alberta to leave Canada. What's Jason going to do? He can't do anything. In Edmonton, Darcy Ropchan, City News.